in the early 90s, I got into baseball. My favorite team was the Toronto Blue Jays, and my favorite player was Joe Carter. Later on, I would get into basketball, my favorite team being the Boston Celtics, being a fan of Larry Bird, and I would continue on with the Boston Celtics until 2009 when I basically gave up on basketball. It was right around that time I was flipping through the AM channels on the radio and came across a San Francisco Giants baseball game. I immediately was hooked and the rest is history. I'm now a Giants fan. In the mid 90s, my grandpa took me and my brother and our cousins to an Oakland A's baseball game versus the Minnesota Twins. I admit it was pretty cool, but at the same time, really boring. Watching baseball live is not as entertaining as other people would see it. I think it's like watching paint dry. However, I absolutely love listening to baseball on the radio. There's just this Americana feel to it. You know, it's the first sport ever broadcasted on the radio. Ah, uh, yes. By the looks of my watch, it's officially grave time. Today we're at Desert Memorial Park, located in Cathedral City next to Palm Springs. We're going to check out the grave of Pistol Pete, who was a professional baseball player. Harold Patrick Reeser was born on St. Patrick's Day, 1919, in St. Louis, Missouri. Apparently his middle name Patrick is in lieu of him being born on St. Patrick's Day. Now, where exactly does his nickname come from? Well, interesting, uh, his nickname Pistol Pete is from when he was a child, he would walk around the neighborhood with two toy pistols. But actually, the nickname Pete came from Two Gun Pete, who was a well-known Chicago police officer. Pistol Pete was an excellent athlete. So much so that when he was 15 years old, he snuck into a St. Louis Cardinals camp where he tried out to play for the team. And he didn't make the team, but he got signed unofficially to be a scout for the Cardinals. Two years later, he became a member of the minor league team for the Cardinals and that opened up the doors for him to play for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Technically Pistol Pete was sent to the Brooklyn Dodgers with the understanding that he would play there for a short period of time and then come back to the Cardinals. However he was so good on the Brooklyn Dodgers that the team kept him and didn't go through with their promise with the Cardinals. Pete would continue to play with the Brooklyn Dodgers from 1940 to 1942, and then again later on in 1946 to 1948. He also played for the Boston Braves from 1949 to 1950, the Pittsburgh Pirates in 1951, and the Cleveland Indians in 1952. All during that time, he was an outfielder. As a fan of baseball, I have to admit that I don't get all the stats and the numbers and all that stuff. I just listen to the game and have a great time. So bear with me, folks. His batting average was .295. I have no idea if that was good. His hits were 786, runs batted in, 368. He was a three-time All-Star, National League batting champion in 1941, 
1946, National League Stolen Base Leader. He also won in a World Series Championship in 1963 as a coach while with the uh, Dodgers. On October 25th, 1981, Pistol Pete passed away from respiratory disease at age 62. He was living in Palm Springs and is buried here in Cathedral City at Desert Memorial Park. If you enjoyed this episode of Grave Time and or have an interest in the graves of former baseball players, I suggest you check out some of the other videos I've done, such as Joe Gimaggio and Willie McCovey and many more here on Grave Time. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye.